Hello, and welcome back to a new video for the channel, for the first time in quite a while, I'm sure. Um, as you can see, uh, my time has been pretty much being uh, taken up by Conan Exiles lately. And after spending several days uh, building in said game, I thought uh, it would be kind of helpful to people that are new to building uh, on just how to get started building yourself. Now, there's plenty of YouTube channels out there that have amazing uh, builds for different things in Conan Exiles. Uh, Eradication is the channel that really sticks out to me uh, because I started watching his content right around the time I started building myself and um, I actually built his ziggurat and a couple of other things and um, because of that I thought well you know he's really the biggest channel that I know of that does this there's several other ones but I never really saw any video about how to just get started um, and what I mean by that is you know you turn on the game uh, what do you do now so I thought I would do that for you guys and you know put some content up on the channel right I think I've got like 44 subscribers so hopefully this video finds you well so the first thing you're gonna wanna do uh, on PS4 as you can see that I'm on Go ahead and bring up your pause menu, and uh, you won't see this Adam panel, uh, admin panel, uh, right away. You'll just see settings. So uh, what you'll do is you'll go into your settings. You will go over to server settings. You'll go into it, and you'll click the little button that says "Make me admin." And once you've done that, you have become the admin of your own single-player server. Now this is if you're, of course, playing single-player. Uh, or co-op and you're not on an actual online server uh, it's just yourself so that's how you'll do that um, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to your admin panel now a couple of key things to look at here uh, this stuff you know level feet set level all that stuff this, this is not a big deal uh, but down here on other commands very helpful stuff here. Number one is fly. I'll show you what that does in a second. The other ones I'm going to go into briefly and then I might touch upon a little bit more later at some point, but for right now, check this out. Cloak doesn't really matter that much. Demigod doesn't really matter that much. But the ones you are going to want to have are God uh, and every once in a while, Ghost and if looking at your own character bothers the hell out of you while you're building, invisibility is uh, is good to be on there. Um, down here with hunger and thirst, you're gonna want to tick off eating. Uh, Thirsty's already ticked off for whatever whatever reason, but if you um, tick off eating, which you'll see it's checked when you first get in. Go ahead and click it off. That'll keep you from needing to eat and drink and everything else while you're building so your character doesn't, you know, starve to death while you're doing that. If you have God mode on, you won't die anyway, but as soon as you turn it off, you'll die. So, um, second, well, yeah, second most important thing, honestly, is your day-night cycle controls. So, as you can see, you can change day-night, you know, dust on, whatever. Put it on noon and go ahead and click freeze time down here. You're going to turn that shit on because it gets really annoying building and then suddenly it gets dark and then you got to go and switch the day cycle over again and it's just really annoying. Freeze time, big deal. Okay. Now, as you can see with flying, now. I don't have to worry about climbing or anything else. Also, you can toggle first person on a controller. You can toggle that on and off by hitting the up on the directional button on a D-pad for all your old school gamers out there. On the digital pad. But anyway, uh, 
now that you're flying, you know, you're going to move a little bit click, uh, quicker, and you're not going to have to worry about climbing or running or jumping or trying to get the right angle or any of that. Flying takes care of all of that. Makes building 150 billion times easier. I don't care if that's not a real number or not. All right. Back in the admin panel. So now I'm going to give you some tips on um, building. As you can see, uh, I made this entire pyramid out of black ice. Right? I've, made, I, I've actually made every structure here out of black ice because I like the way it looks in the desert. It doesn't belong here at all, and that's why I like it. But, let's say you're going to build something, and let's say it's going to be out of black ice. Now, as you can see, my inventory is completely empty. I did, uh, I did that on purpose. I promise I have a brain. I just don't know how to use it correctly. Over here in spawn item, as you can see, you've got you know stone, queen bee, worker bee. You got this just this stuff. You know, under resource, under gear, you've got your different gear and building. It would be a pain in the ass to scroll through all of this just to try to find what you're looking for, right? Right. And because of that, you're going to get to your search bar up here, and you're going to type in, for instance, black ice. Now, you can see, you know, black ice pick under gear and ice javelin and, and all that. But under building, you have literally every single uh, building piece for black ice that you could possibly need. Now, don't get too excited. Don't turn off the video yet because we're going to go over spawning. So as you can see, you just hit X, you spawn one, right? You can sit here and spam X and spawn as many as you want. If you hold L2, you'll spawn a stack. And a stack is 100, uh, usually. It's the max stat, a stack of that item that you can get. So it might be, a <clears throat> for certain things, excuse me, for certain things it might be, um, 10 or 15, but for other things, it's going to be like 100 or 50. Now, I want to build a simple square, so I'm going to get, you know, 100, 100 of these, 100 walls, and 100 ceilings. All right? That's all I need, right? Oh, wait. Where's all my stuff? Oh, yeah, that's right. Sometimes the shit refuses to spawn in your inventory and just spawns automatically on your wheel. But let's do our simple square, right? One, two, three, uh, you, you, you know the deal. It's actually not even going to be that good of a square because of the slope. But uh, all that aside, you'll see the point in a second. Pop, blah, blah, pop and down, pop these down, pop these down. And of course, it's going to have to be two blocks high because nothing is ever one block high in this damn game. Cool. Walls. We'll get those up here. I like how, even though this is just for demonstration, my OCD is kicking in. It's driving me absolutely nuts. I have to get these all facing the right way and everything. I know none of you guys actually care about this at all, but anyway. So, get your walls up. Put your ceiling in. You know, look pretty good. You think, you, you know, you just built yourself a home. You're going to take that off your journey, right? Blah, 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 blah. I'll even, I'll even put in a nice floor down here when I'm done. Alright, boom, 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 boom. I'm just padding for time for the video, honestly. But you guys already knew that. Alright, so. Hey, my cube is done. Oh, but I need an entrance. Well, let me go back and do, uh, let me go back to my admin panel here. Alright. I'm gonna pull this up. This is all real time, by the way. None of this, none of this is edited to uh, make it seem longer. Uh, I had door frame and then door. Yeah, you know, every every nice house needs a door, right? You know, that's a, a door and, uh, yeah. Oh, shit, I need some stairs. 
I guess I better go back into my... You see the point I'm making. Every time you think you've built what you need to be, you know, built, you're going to come across something else that you're going to need, you know, whatever. So this is a little pro-gamer move that I do. Uh, I just go ahead and spawn a full stack of every single possible item that I could need to build this damn square. I don't care if my inventory gets completely and totally full of it. I need it. But what I'm going to show you by doing this is I'm going to eliminate that fear of a full inventory because I just spawned a max stack of everything that I needed and in fact I still got inventory space left to fool around with and I've you know got everything on my wheel so now if I want to build things on here if I want to add stuff hey it's already in my inventory and I don't have to keep going back to the admin panel every 10 seconds eight seconds every five seconds and you know grabbing another piece that I could have just grabbed if I was paying attention and I'll get rid of this cube at another time because it's gonna drive me nuts but those are just some tips and tricks that I've uh, figured out here while playing Conan Exiles for an ungodly amount of time um, I know I say um a lot, and I'm sorry, it's a very bad habit, and it annoys me listening back to it as much as it annoys you listening to it. Coming into the pyramid, this is something I want to touch on in a later video, but I'm going to briefly go over here. You see the shit ton of pillars I got going on in here, right? These are all black ice pillars, and boy, is there a lot of them, and there's even more up through here that you can't see, because, you know, I... I, I blocked it off. Well, here's a tip. If you're a Stygian character and you want to build a pyramid in the damn desert. First off, this is not a perfect pyramid. This one over here is much better. When you're building these pyramids, you're going to need to use pillars and foundations because as you build up, each one of your pieces are going to lose stability. Now, I believe Eradication and a couple other YouTube channels go over this way better than I could. Uh, but basically, you have to make some weird shit in order to get what you want built. And in this case, with the pyramid, um, even with this smaller one, you really have to put some shit in that is going to take up space on the inside but if you want a pyramid shape you're going to have to do it I've used mainly um, the this little combination piece here so this is actually if it'll actually show it here yes it will okay Two found so this is a foundation piece, one foundation piece, and I used two of these wall caps to make it look like it kind of sinks into the pyramid, like it's supposed to be there. And you can even really, if you if it really bothered you that much, you can even put more. I can't do it in ghost mode, but you can put more pieces in to block that off. But I do like the ability to kind of like walk around to see what's happening back here. Um, that's just one of the things I do to kind of make it look better but without these foundation pieces here this pyramid wouldn't stand because these pieces would not have enough stability so basically long story short well, short story long you're going to have to make some sacrifices in here with the pillars I did the best that I could hiding them uh, and making them look a little bit better than just having weird pillars. When you first build your pyramid, depending on how big it is, it, you're going to have a bunch of pillars everywhere, and you're just going to figure out how to how to deal with them, honestly. And, yeah, it's pain in the ass. So if you're building pyramids and you need help with it, number one, Steve P's speed builds are absolutely amazing and if you can actually if you slow them down you can pick up 
what he's doing and you can make a better looking pyramid um, ziggurats are better the, the ziggurats are easier to build if you're not familiar with the ziggurat it is an Aztecian style pyramid and they're stepped they're steeped on the sides so how these are flat and and nice looking uh, the ziggurats have indents in them and because of the indents it's easier to build them and it's easier to get this uh, the stability to stick with them so if you're if you want to build like a, a pyramid ziggurat thing and you're kind of torn between the two if you like both equally I would go with the ziggurat just because it's not as hair pulling as this shit is I mean this took me a day uh, like an, an actual day to actually sit down and not only plan out but figure out how the hell to get it to work and it's still not perfect and it's driving me nuts because it's not completely pointed this took quite a while I'm not exactly sure how long but it took quite a while to get it to be exactly right and it took even longer to get this uh, little secret passageway between the two to look right and it's still not really perfect but hey well you know doing what I can with what I got uh, these towers I will go over in a later video uh, the same with these walls and gates I'll go over it in a different video but that's just some tips and oh yeah the thing about ghost mode you can't build shit in ghost mode uh, you can throw down like stuff like that but you can't clip things in ghost mode you can destroy things, however, so if you've built something into, you know, the ground and you really want to get it out of the ground because it's fucking up your build somewhere else, you can do that in ghost mode. Uh, but if you, you know, you, you kind of want to turn that off if you want to go back to building anything. And when you turn it off, you'll drop to the ground. Don't worry about it. Just hit fly again. And there you go. And I'll go over decoration in another video as well because that shit can be really annoying. But before I turn this into a 19 hour uh, rambling session, I think I'll end the video here. Uh, if this interests you at all, if you guys want to see more build videos like this or actually watch me finish the rest of this shit, just let me know in the comments. Uh, like, like I said, I've got like 40 some subscribers, so it's, I mean, it's, <laughs> you know, it, first come, first serve, you know what I mean? You need like five people to say they want to see it more built, and I'll build it, I don't care. Uh, other than that, enjoy the rest of your night on YouTube, and, uh, try not to browse all the videos and stay up till four in the morning, yeah? Peace.